guys, there is a new social media platform in town and I know what you're thinking and I don't know how to feel about it either. Let's talk about the number one most downloaded lifestyle application in the app store at the moment, which is Lemonade. I wanna break down what it is, how to use it, how to potentially grow on the platform, but also let's talk about why you're hearing so many of your favorite creators talk about the app and push you to use it. Let's just dive into all of it. But before we do, do not forget to hit the subscribe button if you enjoy content like this because I upload new videos every single week. All right, what is Lemonade? Lemonade is a lifestyle app that is currently storming the download charts. It's worth noting that it's not actually a new app, it's just new to some locations, such as the US and somewhat new to the UK too. It's not available everywhere yet. For example, at the time of filming, it's not available in Canada. But as I mentioned, it has been storming the charts in some locations such as the US. Now, there's a few things that we just need to just flag straight away when it comes to this app. The first thing is that it is owned by ByteDance. ByteDance is the parent company that owns TikTok. If you caught this video where I spoke all about the potential ban of TikTok in the US and in several other countries, you will know that the US government, amongst other governments, aren't a big fan of ByteDance at the moment. Now, there are several reasons behind this. And if you want a real deep dive into this whole topic of the potential TikTok ban, I do recommend watching the video that I just mentioned. But for now, the most important thing to know is that ByteDance owns both TikTok and Lemonade. And ByteDance are currently having beef with with a lot of different governments. Which means that if TikTok does eventually get banned, we can assume that Lemonade might end up getting banned in the future too. So just keep that in mind. Now, when it comes to what Lemonade actually is and where it fits in the market as a social media platform, it's often described as a blend between Pinterest and Instagram. It almost has this editorial vibe to it where you can essentially create content that you annotate and then upload it onto the platform. So obviously I'm gonna share some examples of a few different creators and their content on the screen right now. You'll probably notice already that it's very aesthetic. And I think that's really where the Pinterest blend comes in. It's a really aesthetically led platform which means that at the moment the niches that are performing really well on the platform includes things such as nail art outfit inspiration workout recipes and stuff like that so that is definitely the content that's thriving at the moment but i will say that as with most platforms they often start with a few niches performing well and then they diversify over time like who remembers the early days of tiktok when it was mostly just teenagers dancing and look at how much it's developed now so don't stress out too much if your niche isn't one of the ones that i just mentioned lemonade is being described as and i want to read out a quote here a content sharing platform with a youthful community. Um, here is where you can discover beautiful, authentic, and diverse content. I mean, it's a very generic way of describing a platform. I think most platforms could probably say something similar. So do with that information what you will. And one of the most important things I wanna talk about when it comes to Lemonade before we move on is why you are seeing so many creators talk about the app. There is currently a brief out there by parent company ByteDance where they are paying creators to promote Lemonade and to post on Lemonade, okay? So if you are wondering why have I started to see so many creators hop on TikTok and talk about how Lemonade is the next big thing and everyone needs to start downloading it and start posting, a lot of them, obviously I can't say that all of them are being paid, a lot of them are being paid to talk about Lemonade. And look, I have no problem with it. I respect the hustle. If anything, I feel like a right idiot because I'm not being paid. <laughs> This is not sponsored. I'm the idiot who's talking about Lemonade completely for free. <laughs> but the point is, is that you are seeing a lot of people talk about Lemonade because they are being paid to talk about it. You're also seeing a lot of your favorite creators post on Lemonade because they are being paid to post on Lemonade. That I think is a big reason why it is shooting up the download charts. And honestly, I think it's really clever and I think other platforms should probably do something similar. Okay, so I've got my phone, I've got my screen recording. Let's dive into Lemonade and actually talk about how to use it. So when you join Lemonade, it will ask you for some basic information, your name, your email address, the usual stuff that you have to submit when you join a new social media platform. What it will also do though that's super interesting is it will ask you for your interests. Now the options it gives you is pretty basic like fashion, beauty, etc. But it uses that information to formulate your own for you page. So if we look at Lemonade right now, what you'll notice is that it's sorted into two different tabs, the following tab and the for you tab, which is exactly the same as how TikTok is formulated, right? So on the following tab, you see content from people you follow. On the for you tab, you see content that the 
algorithm has decided is high quality and relevant to you based off of your interests. So if we scroll down, you can get a good sense of the type of content that does well on Lemonade. What's really interesting is that the format that tends to perform well on Lemonade often tends to be static photos and carousels. You can upload videos to Lemonade, but as you can see from me scrolling, majority of the content isn't video content, it's actually statics and carousels. And I think that's intentional because otherwise Lemonade will end up being a competitor to TikTok and that's not what they want. They want it to have its own unique selling point. So let's click on one of these to see the example of the content that performs well on the platform. Here we've got a creator called India Moon who's sharing her H&M haul and her spring outfits. So she's got a lovely title on the front carousel. And as we scroll, you'll see that she's annotated her outfits so people can see where her clothing is from can you see and if we click out and go on to another one I'm sure we'll find another example of that so little things that I love in my room as we scroll this creator called star has annotated the different parts of her bedroom and the different elements that she has that she really really loves can you see floral prints hanging plant etc right this tends to be the type of content that thrives on lemonade so how do we actually go about creating our own content that looks like this well, first thing you wanna do is click on the plus icon. So I'm gonna scroll and I'm gonna to get to this point here, which is basically a bunch of photos that I took in LA. So I'm gonna click on this one. I'm gonna click on this one and then maybe, maybe this one, I don't know. And then I wanna press next and you'll see that Lemonade has gathered those three photos and they've put them together so it's like a carousel, right? Now this is where you can start to edit your carousel and annotate it in the really cool stylistic way that you just saw. And this is actually one of the things that I really like about Lemonade is that it allows you to create content and carousels that look really cool and really well designed with ease right and usually in order for you to create a carousel that looks really cool like that you have to be on Canva it takes a bit of practice and you need to have a really like stylistic eye whereas now you don't really need that if you use a platform like Lemonade so first thing you want to do is click on the templates button this is where you'll be able to find a template that mirrors some of the ones that I just showed you so it's broken down into different categories which really mimic the type of content that performs well there so beauty fashion food travel life etc and the hot category is just the templates that people use a lot so if i scroll along you've got minimalist ones healthy meals jewelry collection i don't know loads of different ones i keep on scrolling and what's really nice is that it's literally showing you the different titles the different size of the fonts the different fonts that pair well together these are all things that usually you need a designer to do for you because it's actually quite difficult to know how to do that yourself but here it's just going to make it super easy for you so let's say i'm going to go with this template i'm going to press the tick button to change the text you just click on it and then you'll be able to edit it straight away. So you'll edit the text here and I'll say Los Angeles guide and click enter and also it will give you an option to change the different text down here as well so um the templates the fonts you can customize it click the tick button and it will add to your homepage, right so that is my first slide and you could do this for every slide so let's say i'm doing a guide for los angeles so maybe i want to add some of the annotations that we just saw what i would need to do is click on the text button click on label and it will give me a few different formats for me to annotate my content so let's say i'm going to click this format here and I'm going to annotate this radio drive sign. So I'm gonna click on that. I'm gonna change this text from earrings to rodeo, rod rodeo or rodeo? I don't know, let me know in the comments, um, drive. So this is me annotating my photos and me giving people a, I might actually have to move that so you can see it. There you go. Giving people a breakdown of where you should go when you're in LA, right? Cause it's my LA guide. So you can carry on using the templates and the text buttons to annotate your content. There's also a retouch button, which allows you to do things like adjust the different elements of your photo, which is always really useful. And then also add some filters as well. Again, they're broken down into categories. So let's say I click on travel, cause that's kind of what this carousel is about. I could click on some of these here and it will add a filter to my content. If you double click on it again, you can also adjust the filter if you don't want it at the maximum amount. So for this one, for example, I don't want it that bright. So maybe I'm gonna do it halfway and click the tick button again and it will save. Other things you can do is add hashtags. And as you'll see here, that is gonna suggest a few hashtags for you and show you how popular those hashtags are. There's also a little retouch button here, which will automatically retouch your content. There's a crop button here, which does what it says on the tin. You can crop and rotate your content as well a sticker button is very similar to the stickers that you'll see on things like your instagram stories and very interestingly there's a cutout section which mimics another application called pinterest shuffles i'm going to link
link to a video up here where I talk about Pinterest shuffles in more detail if you want more info. But it's very similar to what you can do on that app. And basically what it allows you to do is cut out different elements of the photo and you could superimpose them onto different backgrounds. So let's say I want to cut out myself. I would click smart cut out and straight away it's identified myself as the thing that I might want to cut out, right? So I'm going to click smart cut out and I'm going to click this little button here. And can you see it's cut myself out and it basically allows me to superimpose myself onto either a colored background or I can even add a background from my photo library and superimpose myself there as well. If you want inspiration for different ways that people can use this, I do really recommend checking out Pinterest shuffles. I'll really quickly show you now what it will look like because Pinterest shuffles is basically a version of that on like steroids. <laughs> it's a way for you to create these really amazing collages where you're cutting out different elements as you can see here. Let's look at this one for example. They've cut out different elements of different photos, overlaid them to make this really cool collage or graphic. So if you want to find really cool ways for you to do that and maybe implement that into your lemonade strategy, check out Pinterest shuffles because that is where it kind of lives and originated. So once you've done all that, let's exit that. You just have to press next. You can add a catchy headline, add a caption, press done, and it will upload your carousel onto Lemonade. Okay, so we've spoken about how to use Lemonade. Now let's talk about how to grow on Lemonade. There's a huge, huge caveat that I need to flag here. And that is that no one truly knows how to grow on the app yet because it's too new. I've already seen a few people post on Lemonade saying, five ways to grow on Lemonade. And I'm like, we don't know how to grow on Lemonade yet. What I'm about to share with you are tips and tricks that I am hypothesizing, right? These are not strategies that I could turn around and say that they're tried and tested or that they've been recommended by Lemonade itself, right? Whereas all the other strategies that I share for you on platforms like TikTok, on YouTube and Instagram, those are tried and tested strategies. There are no tried and tested strategies yet on Lemonade. So these are all me hypothesizing what I think will help you grow based on my experience, okay? So the first way that you will potentially be able to grow on Lemonade is by cross promotion. Cross promotion basically involves you promoting another social media app on a different social media app. So some news outlets have already reported that the creators who, who are doing well on Lemonade are the ones that are already performing well on platforms like TikTok. And this is because they have a huge existing audience elsewhere and they've used that audience and used that platform to actually draw drive more followers on their Lemonade app. Absolutely no hate in the game. I'm a huge advocate for cross promotion. So why don't you start to think about how you can promote your Lemonade app on existing platforms that you already have. For example, talking about it, including it in your link in bio. Really simple, easy ways for you to let your audience know that you are active on Lemonade, which will help drive more followers on that app. The other method that I'm pretty certain will help you grow, and I'm sure you can guess what this is, is to upload content consistently. If you're wondering what consistency might look like on a platform like Lemonade, I believe that consistency on Lemonade will involve you uploading two to three posts per week. The reason why I think that is because, as we already know, ByteDance, who own Lemonade, are paying creators to promote the platform and paying creators to post on Lemonade. Now, in those briefs, they are recommending that their creators should post between two to three posts per week. Therefore, the only bit of information we can have that is somewhat fact that will help us figure out how often to post on Lemonade is that information that has come directly from the company that owns it, right? So at the moment, we can assume that posting two to three times per week on Lemonade is a good posting frequency. The third and final strategy that you can use that might help you grow on Lemonade is trial and error. We do not know what is going to thrive on this platform yet, and I've yet to see content that's gone really viral. So with that in mind, it's a great opportunity for you to get started on the app. For sure, this is always a prime time to get started on a social media app, but also it's a great opportunity for you to really explore with different content types, formats, maybe even niches. You don't have to have the same niche on Lemonade that you have on another platform. If you've always wanted to create fashion content, maybe now's your time to explore that on a platform where you know fashion content performs well, okay? Okay, so please let me know in the comments what you think about Lemonade. Let me know if you've tried it, if you're gonna try it. Just tell me what you think because I really, I need to know, okay? I hope you found this useful. Please don't forget to like this video, especially if you want more content like this from me specifically about Lemonade. It helps me know that this is something that you're actually interested in. If you feel like hanging around, I recommend watching this video. It is all about the social media growth tips that no one tells you, but that everyone desperately needs to know. Thank you so much for watching. As always, I can't wait to see you in my next video.